I have the 1988 Honda TRX 250R, which in my opinion is one of the most badass looking two-stroke bikes from back in the olden days, the old school era of, of quads when they were a little more unbridled and just absolutely wicked to ride. $6,500. It looks like it's in phenomenal shape and it looks like it's been taken pretty well care of. 15 hours on a rebuild, Boyson red valve, carbon fiber reeds, OEM front end and plastics, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's still in this good a shape. Here we have a 1985 Honda ATC 250R three-wheeler, which was one of my favorites back in the day, and it's an absolutely terrifying death machine. That must have been why they had so much more fun in the 80s and the 90s, because they had absolutely ridiculous shit like this to go pound the dirt on. If this doesn't take you back, I don't know what will. The LT250R is probably one of the most fun smaller size two-stroke quads to ever exist. This thing was by far way faster than any other 250, in my opinion, when you could get on one of these and easily run 75 mile an hour, and it was absolutely ridiculous. Here we have a 2006 Blaster. This is probably the entry level two stroke for most people. This one appears to be in pretty decent shape. They've got a decent power band, you can feel it, and they're just enough to get out there and really kind of piss your neighbors off. And they might be quick enough to get you in trouble. I've had a handful of these, they'd all do about 55, 60 mile an hour. This one looks to be in pretty decent shape. It says that it's got a about two hours on a rebuild, and it's $2,000. That's a pretty decent little setup there. This right here would be the end-all, be-all of two-stroke quads. The LT500R, also known as the Quadzilla. A lot of people say that this is the top tier epitome of two stroke bikes me personally i don't think they're as user friendly as some of the other two strokes and they're a very finicky bike but when they're right they're absolutely wicked here we have the end all be all in my opinion probably the most well-known two stroke four-wheeler to ever grace any outdoors and quad enthusiast Plus, this is a 96. It's got that badass retro coloring with the cool gold wheels. This right here is probably my favorite four-wheeler to ever exist. I've owned one of them. I wish I'd have never sold it because back when I got it, you could get them for $1,000 to $2,000, and they were in decent running shape. This one right here is in pretty good shape, $6,500. I don't know if it has any modifications. It doesn't look like it down here in the uh, description, but this right here... It's probably the most well-known quad in the world, and it has reason to be that way. It, it's a banshee. It freaking screams. It's absolutely pissed off. It's hard to beat one of these four-wheelers.